Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and this today is the start of something so exciting. I'm going to be starting a like mini series called Starting My Horse, that's wrong, called Back in My Horse Fern, <laughs> that is what we're going to call it and um Oh my gosh, this is so exciting because I got Fern when she was just literally turning two. Um, I've had her for just over a year, maybe a year and a half now. She's just gone three, so she was three in March. It is now June. So I'm saying this is the back in Fern series. And by back in, I mean literally starting to put a foot in the stirrup and get on. But that backing actually started from the day that I actually got her um, in 2021. I think it was February 2021 when I when I got her. And I have a whole video on that. Well, I have the footage, but I haven't created the video yet. But I am going to pull it together because it's, uh, wow, that was a journey. <laughs> number one, finding her. Number two, getting to her. And number three, acquiring her was... Um, was was a story all on its own so i will share that at some point but literally this process started from the day that i got her from picking up feet from learning boundaries from being from learning to lead on a head collar properly um to what else free schooling um just everything that a young horse really needs to understand how it's to behave around humans in a respectful manner. So we have been doing a lot of that. We did a lot of uh, walking over tops, walking um, through noise. What else? Oh, through a car wash. <laughs> I'll try and insert a video up here if I get chance to be able to show you her doing that because it was actually really cool. Um, with uh, we just created a frame with some barrels and the streamers that you put through for your door th over your doors to stop the insects it coming in so funny and uh, yeah so it. we've had her doing all sorts just to start to establish like i said respect and boundaries uh trust and um yeah getting out and about in the world we've done a lot of long reining we've been out in the horse box we've been to an enhanced show what else have we done? We've been hacking on the long rein and in hand. And so it is um, obviously loading. So we've done a ton of work with Fern. We've really, really put the time in and took the time. Nothing, literally nothing has been rushed. And so you will see when you watch, she behaves impeccably well. She's still a youngster. She still has a little blips, which is completely understandable. Um, but that is partly her, the training. The other part is she just has the most amazing temperament. Um, and that is one of the reasons why I ended up getting her. Because I'm back in my own horse for the first time alongside and um, with the help and support of my trainer who does this all the time. Um, so I needed something that wasn't going to be a complete loony <laughs> for me to wrangle first time around. And um, oh my gosh, I just knew when I saw her that she was the one. It's weird, isn't it? I'd looked for months and tried a, quite a few. Um, and I was just hitting roadblocks at every single angle. And it must have been because she was sat waiting for me to come and find her because she is just amazing, honestly. Um, so what you're going to see in today's video is I'm just working and we have been doing this for a couple of weeks, although I haven't shared any other footage of that, um, is we just started and we've only done it two or three times before the session that you see today. And those were in the stable, just getting up on the mountain block and leaning over, making noise, making, making sure she understands about standing still. So even if I'm moving around, that she stands still when she's at the mountain block, she's parked and she stays there. Um, stand still while I get up and down, while I make noise, while I lean over her, all of that. So I'm going to do a little bit of that today. This is the, this bit that you catch is actually at the end of a long reining session that we did. 
and we I just used to finish off those sessions very quickly with a couple of minutes sliding up to the mountain block and uh, leaning over. She does have a little minute where she gets really spooked by a motorbike backfiring outside, but I think most would. Um, but other than that, you'll see, she's just an absolute angel. I love her. So as you'll see, I am on my own with Fern this day. Uh, we've just finished a session. She's definitely in the right frame of mind. So I do a few minutes just, as I said, sliding her up to the mountain block. Um, this session is just really to, there's a few things that I'm doing. So number one, she's got to park at the mountain block and stay there without being held. So you notice there's nobody holding her while I do this and I'm not holding her tightly while we do this. She has to hold herself. So she has to know that she's got to stand still and she's got to stay there without somebody stood holding on to her to keep her in place. Um, and so you'll see, I'm just getting up and down, patting her all over, making, banging her stirrups, rubbing her belly from the other side, having a little bit of a lean over and jumping up and down a little bit on the mountain block. I must say she does really, really well. I think this is only the third time or fourth time we've actually leant over at all and the other two were in the stable. So this is her first time out. There's a lot going on in our yard. So there's cars coming past the bottom of the arena. There's tractors quad bikes, uh, horses going past, all sorts going on. So there she just uh, steps away. So I ask her to come back and she doesn't. So rather than backing her up and faffing around with her feet, I just bring her back round to the box again. The other thing that I'm doing right from scratch is teaching her to stand square whenever she's asked to stand. And it might seem a little bit pedantic at this age, but if we teach her now and that's always expected, then that's what she learns from a very early age. So what I'm doing here is I'm just saying, okay, this is foot, move this foot, just touching that foot. But I make a noise and she thinks, oh, you mean yield my hindquarters? No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> so I'm saying over, back. Yep, so she goes back, but she trails, as you'll see, that left foot back. And so nobody be on at me, like, why are you kicking that horse? I'm not. I'm literally tapping her leg with my toe to let her know that I want her to move that particular leg. She's having a moment, and she's saying, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I'm just persistent. I don't get cross with her. I just keep asking. And then I say, hey, come on now, this leg, let's move it. And you'll see she gets the assignment and she gets a massive praise for figuring it out. So we get back on. Mountain block. I think I do some jumping up and down, just just making noise in general at the side of her, just to get her used to people being there, seeing us from high up behind. There, just want to keep her focus forwards. And you'll see in a minute. Get down. Oh, she. I think she moves away or some, does something. Maybe it's when I'm on the other side, actually. No, I think it's this side. I get down to change the mountain block and get on the other side. Oh, yeah. It must be from the other. Yeah, it is. It's from the other side. So you see, she. I'm not holding her in place. I'm as, She's asking her to stand still on her own which she is doing remarkably well, bless her. Mountain block's a bit far away this time, but 
I'm really trusting her as well this day because there's stuff going on outside and she could easily just tear off as you'll see in a second. Um, somebody must have been watching over me this day that it happened when it when I wasn't leaning over her, luckily enough. So there I'm just jumping a little bit. She's trying to get the treats out of my pocket, so I'm just nudging her nose away with my leg to say, hey, put your face forward and keep your back straight. I think... Yeah, I'm just swiping my arm like over the hind quarters of the hind the saddle. And you'll see now I get down to move the block. Oh no, it's not now. Again, she's just having a good old... She's actually just having a little look, so I'm not too worried, but I do want her keeping her head up. I can't really tell I have a lot of weight over the back of her. Literally, because I'm still trying to lose weight to be the right weight to get on her properly. <laughs> That's a whole other video, but you'll see now I get down. I think it's because she moved back a step. And so as I get down, a motorbike literally backfires really loud, either from the road or outside. And it startles her. What a good job I wasn't on the back of her when that happened, because I would have probably been face down on the arena floor or running or on running around the arena hanging off her or something. But um, so I don't make a big deal of it. I just say, oh, gosh, that was loud. Push her back to the mountain block. Give her a big praise because she stands lovely, very quickly and easily up alongside the box. So lots of praise. And then I just do literally a minute or two more. I'd almost finished. But as that happened, I thought I'll just do a couple of minutes more to make sure our head's in the game. Hopping around as you would if you get it on. Maybe not like that. <laughs> yeah and that's it uh, that's enough for one day we make all the sessions really sh as short as we possibly can as soon as we get the right thing and we repeat it a little bit like that's it the session's over we try to make them short keep them enjoyable and the interest there she is such a good girl Now, I have the lead rope with the chain through her bit here and don't think I'm being um, negligent because I'm very, very aware that that's what the case is. But I'm also really reading her and her behaviour and the way that she's feeling right there. So, super good girl. She does so Pretty good feeling for how she's feeling. You just can never be too sure though, can you? Well, I think that'll do for today. Whoa! That will definitely do for today. So that was it for today. Really short and sweet, but the start of something really exciting. Guys, if you want to follow our journey, we are not going to be showing or editing out the best bits. We're going to be showing everything um, from putting a foot in the stirrup to leaning over to getting on to taking the first steps and in the next week you're gonna you're going to see our first video of actually getting on and sitting on for the first time her first very first steps with a rider um, and we're going to show you everything so uh, if you want to stay tuned and if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like because it helps us and it helps more people get to see these, these videos as well. And if you want to follow along with our progress, 
please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out a video every single week and for the next few weeks at least here, probably three or four weeks, it's going to be the journey every single week um, as we are training and doing probably three or four sessions a week with Fern um, before we turn her away for a little bit of a rest. So <laughs> very exciting. Thank you for staying with us to this point. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next video.